What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So a few of you were interested in the arrangement that I did in one of my latest videos on Instagram. So I thought I could share with you some of the process behind that kind of like electronic music vibe that I go for lately. Um, just, you know, just share with you my Ableton session here. Of course, if you use a different DAW, you can adapt what I'm saying, you know, in, in your DAW of choice. Anyway, let's get into the session. Okay, so here's my Ableton project. Um, sounds like this. And then, you know, I, I had like that like selective picking thing. Anyway, let's start from the drums. So most of these tracks are very simple, um, kind of fairly quickly put together. So um, most of them are just samples straight from sample library. Um, I usually use Plice for that kind of stuff, which is this um, app right here. So for this project, it was mainly this sample library here. So if you want to look it up and like use the same inspiration. Uh, but anyway, so the drums are very simple. Just simple beat, again, kick and snare, are from that sample library, then uh, I have these like percussion loops. Uh, this is from a different sample library, and also I think this is quite manipulated. Um, usually the, the way that I manipulate percussion loops is by using the beats algorithm. Uh, for the time stretching in Ableton. It is kind of unique to Ableton. I mean, you can reproduce this in different ways, but yeah, this is quite unique. And it's basically what, what it's doing is preserving the transients of um, a certain sample and basically just play back those. For instance, if I drag this all the way down, it's just reproducing the transients instead of you know, more sustained. And I think this was already um, bounced in place, so it might have been even more, um, even different. I, I don't even remember what the original was. Then we have another percussion track here, again with, with the same kind of treatment. And this is something that I like, I like to do quite a lot, to be honest. This is just a um, standard hi hat loop. So here we have a bass. Which is made in Ableton Sampler. Um, again, here you can use anything you want. Basically, it's just, uh, I just imported uh, a sine wave a sample um, in the... Um, Ableton sampler and I just process that in you know in some way saturation and just you know some compression sidechain um, what is making that interesting is uh, this saturation automation here So I'm basically automating the the drive here. You see, it's basically a hard clipper, and just automating that in order to create, you know, some interest. Otherwise, just lame sub bass. Um, always try distortion on bass. Also, because it's gonna make it easier to hear on smaller speakers, and and also it's gonna just make it more interesting most of the time. Anyway, here we have another 
part of the base uh, foundation of the track. This like low piano note. Um, again, this is just a sample with some EQ and um, some saturation. <laughs> That's it. Straight from that sample pack again. The um, splice sample pack. Um, then as far as guitars, it's just that riff that you heard double tracked. Actually, there's th this track which is kind of interesting. Which is just which is just transients taken from the main riff, processed in some weird way. Uh, I think it's an octave higher. Um, the way I did that is again by using the um, beats algorithm here. So playing just the transients of basically this riff an octave higher, if I remember correctly. And so it's renders it's rendered. So unfortunately, I can't show you the original like the whole process, but that's pretty much the idea. Just using the transients of from some from different samples. Um, that's it really for guitars. Then we have the whole keys and synths section. So this kind of interesting. So this is gated, but the um, uh, the side chain is active. So it's this gate is actually listening to, as you see here, the kick and snare. So basically, it's uh, gating the sound every time the kick and snare are not playing. And that's basically that's giving this sample like that um, kind of like movement in volume instead of just be one, you know, constant pad sound. You always, you always want to look for movement uh, when you add this like ambient sounds. Um, try to, again, make as much movement as you can and as much automations and expansion. Uh, this, this can be considered like expansion, so that's pretty much the idea. And then I have this track here, which is like the main ambience for the whole backing track. Which is kind of cool. And this is granular synthesis applied on a piano. So basically I took a piano sample and I put that into granulator which is a plugin here in Ableton that basically um, allows you to do granular synthesis which is basically just taking pieces of the sample and reproducing them in um, in different ways for instance if I drag the sick random piano sample let's take this one And I have my keyboard here, I'm just playing one note. Um, I can basically change the length and the position of... It, it's like a loop, basically. It's like loop, looping one portion of the sample. So you can create this kind of sounds and then if you like slap reverb on top of that, you should get, you know. Which is kind of cool. Um, this, you know, I use this like 90% of the time to create like bad sounds um, instead of like, you know, just straight uh you know pad presets from whatever synth plugin you're using this is kind of a little bit more interesting in my opinion and um
So this is the same um, granulator thing that we did earlier, but in this case, in this case, I've used again the beats algorithm. So this is basically chopping the the sample into transients. As you see, it's it's basically you know it's become a rhythmic thing, and this came from the same this same sample here. So just processed in different way. Um, that's pretty much it. We have uh, an impact, I believe, here. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Uh, this, is, this is a sample that I processed myself in, in a session that I did a few years ago. I mean, not, not even a few years ago. It was like last year. But, you know, I, I ended up creating this sound out of... I don't even remember out of what. Um, you know... Sometimes I just save um, samples or like presets from sessions that I, I enjoyed making, um, you know, to use again in the future. And so this coming from uh, a previous session. And then we have just one note here. Heavily compressed, and, you know, reverb, distortion and all kinds of crazy stuff. And that's it really. pretty simple again it was put together fairly quickly but you know even if it's just mainly samples i think it's still inspiring um i don't know it kind of fits the riff i guess so that's the vibe that i went for anyway guys that's it for today let me know if you enjoyed the video um if you have any question let me know in the comments and uh, make sure to subscribe leave a like and comments if you enjoyed the video um yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Ciao.